Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request for Marvelous Flim, who asked for the GPONFB as Hikaru Ichijo's Valkyrie from Macross. Um, this is as close as I could get with the uh, setup uh, that Battle Operation 2 allows. Uh, certain parts in the paint uh, scheme are color linked. Uh, and so it's kind of difficult to uh, to get certain colors in one position without others in another. Also, it will only let me put decals in certain spaces, so as much as I wanted to put that skull on the uh, cockpit hatch where it would belong, uh, it wouldn't let me do it, so I went with the shoulder where it would be clearest. Um, on a... Words, Rob, come on. Another... Oh! Good 5200 shot. I am using the long rifle because I tried to use a machine gun, which would be accurate to a, a Valkyrie, but the machine gun is, frankly, the GPO-1FB's worst weapon. It is very difficult to uh, to get the machine gun going with this in any kind of capacity. At least I have not been able to do it, maybe with more practice, but generally at these levels, everybody, everybody has, like, devastating attacks like the ones that this GP04 behind me is uh, launching and that thing's going to be annoying me throughout the entire match but uh, yeah I again I have just had so little luck uh, trying to get a machine gun around with it that to make sure I actually got this done promptly I decided to uh, drop back to the uh, to the long rifle which is my favorite it does the most damage you can uh, scope in with it uh, and keep your radar up and it's just really strong. You can also overheat it pretty uh, well if you're not careful. And got another uh, couple of slashes in, and now I'm going to try and escape because lowish health. Um, also, the reason, of course, I did the backpack in the bluish gray it is, is I went with the uh, Super Valkyrie armor attachment there. Sadly, again, I was not quite able to really get any other uh, location, uh, proper locations on the mobile suit to match that to look like the full Super Armor. Uh, upgrade for a Valkyrie, but again, I just I did my best with the system that uh, uh, Battle Operation has in place. Man, one day I will have to go back to Gundam Breaker Three because I could probably I could probably do a decent looking Valkyrie on a stock GPO on FB without much trouble. Also, Gundam Breaker Three is just a good game. I, I New Gundam Breaker is still just a tragedy. That that game was. If they hadn't decided they were trying to, you know, kind of half-heartedly generate some kind of live service and actually made another Gundam Breaker game, they probably could have sold a zillion of them. But that, of course, is not, you know, what they decided they were going to do. And probably, like, ten years from now, the PC mods for New Gundam Breaker are going to be amazing. But at the moment, I, it's not a game I can really recommend to anybody, especially fans of Gundam Breaker. But, let's see. Vulcans on the GP1FB are not bad. But with this setup, its two strongest uh, uh, things are the rifle, which I just got another kill with, and its downswing, which is just a, you know, just a, like, Revenge of the Sith Palpatine twirl is the best way I know to describe it. Because he just does the straight up, you know, twirl through the air thing, and it is it's it's impressive, but also just kind of funny. See, so he was hoping to line up a shot on the GPO two, didn't quite do it. We're basically most of us, I think, are ignoring the bomb because we have enough of a lead that the bomb is not going to give it to them. It is not going to actually let them win. Managed to stun the GPO two, got the assist, and I'm pretty sure that's that GPO four uh, attacking me again. Um, at some point, if I haven't done it already, you may see me, yeah, just testily sending, uh, take the supports a couple of times, because I re this, that thing just does such a good job of locking me down, and I think there's two of them looking at it, that, yeah, I just really need somebody to get, get that off of my back, because I, c I cannot keep up with it, it's just too strong, since it is a support and has type advantage on me. But we're also very spread out, which is not great. The base is destroyed. It did get them within 400 points of us because we took a couple of losses. My, me, I think, I think I was the big problem there, and I, uh, I got us, I got them within spitting distance of it. But 
I'm going to take the outliers there and get my mobile suit back and see if I can go, you know, do something helpful. That long rifle does have a really good range, too, so if I can, uh, if I can get it charged and pick a target, I can do some really good di uh, damage from really far off. Just a matter of finding one. And in the case of those GPO-4s, before it finds me, especially. But, okay, so... Yeah, 2 minutes and 40 seconds left. We've got a 900-point lead, which is not much. Waiting for my rifle to fully cool down so that I won't be, uh... Uh, won't be overheating it by, uh, firing a charged shot. Used one of my dodge rolls. The uh, GPO-1FB also has, uh, double dodge roll and overboost, so... If I, uh, I think you saw in that one case where I was down to 1,900 health, I just, you know, kicked the overboost in and ran as fast as I could and did manage to survive. Picked off the GPO-2 from this distance, but now the GPO-4s are going, going to be after me, so it's time to hide and possibly call for help. I, I know I thought about it, but also I've just kind of gotten to the cranky, stubborn part of things where if there is a GPO-4, I'm going to be going after it full tilt, because I just, you know, you get sick of people uh, locking you down that hard after a while. But, okay, got got a teammate in on this, so got a good shot on that, got, uh, got the assist, and there's a good shot if I can make it, and I did. Yeah, so pretty good uh, round all around. GPO-2 there, trying to get clear so I have time to uh, charge my rifle again not really paying any attention to me, which is my uh, my preference. And beam. And 5200. And it, yep, did the Palpatine spin. Did not get anything with it. Missed my melee. And let's see. Got a few more minutes here. Or one more minute. Didn't get that kill. Trying to get the GPO2 without getting myself killed. Enemies are grouping up pretty well, so I need to be very careful. Caught the shot, didn't quite make the kill. Worth overheating the rifle for, in my opinion, except... Yeah, now I decide to go in on that uh, GPO-4, which is just damn foolish, because I am not... For one thing, I have not got the melee uh, range down for this at all. It's it's That's always worse in space anyway, but yeah, I am not really prepared. And it is now pretty much locked on to me, and I've got nothing to do but move in. With no maneuver armor, that is a tricky prospect, and I am dead. Yeah, there's just no real way to take one of those one-on-one -on -one in open space. And going towards it, rather than getting to cover and charging my rifle and waiting for an opening, was the dumbest way to do it, so there's just no two ways around that. Luckily, we built up enough of a lead, it did not cost us the round. And there was no way to spawn in time, so I just decided I'd try to order an airstrike and didn't have time to do it. Locked it in, but it didn't count, so I'm just sitting here pushing buttons into eternity now. But yeah, I hope I hope you liked the color scheme. It was, uh, it was again, that was one that was kind of tough to do on a variety of fronts, but I think it came out okay. 4,400 points and 7 kills and 3 deaths. Not bad at all. So, that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Speaking of Valkyries, my friends from Radio Free Cybertron got me the Transformers Siege Jetfire for, uh, uh, for Christmas. And that is a fantastic toy. It's kind of expensive, it's like... I think it's like eighty, ninety dollars at full price, but it is. It has so many features, so so many little gimmicks and uh, and options and hidden uh, and hidden, you know, compartments and things. It's just all. It's just a lot of fun. And if you've never seen uh, G One Transformers, because of course uh, Jetfire was. Uh, was a Valkyrie, which was a ri by rival animation studio. Uh, Toei basically said, "No, we're not doing that," and Takara said, "No, we're not going to advertise a, uh, a competitor's toys in our cartoon. So you have to design a new character for that." So the cartoon version of is Skyfire, who instead of being this you know nice slim dynamic thing like the original Valkyrie, is a big pile of boxes. 
and thus so is siege jet fire and but it is a really impressive and well-engineered pile of boxes it is just a great figure <laughs> 